Oh, I can't wait till I get these pants off, you know? Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Peace and Shiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny Sunday. What is up? Now I titled this video a sustainable haul, which in reality, the most sustainable option is to not purchase anything at all. And kind of the second option is to buy secondhand. And although I do have a piece that is thrifted, the main items in this haul are from sustainable brands. Some of them were sent to me. Some of them I just have been wanting to try the brands and I figured I might as well show it. As much as I absolutely love thrifting, definitely right now it is a little bit difficult. And also I think, which I've talked about before, with thrifting, it can kind of go back into what fast fashion is when it comes to like quantity over quality. And I'm not talking about quality of the actual item, the material and stuff, but more of do I actually really love this item? And as kind of the awareness with regards of like ethical thrifting and potentially the negative side effects of excess thrifting, I think kind of having different avenues where you are able to be as conscious as possible as a consumer is super important. And although, yes, this is a haul which goes into consumerism, I kind of want to present it in a way where you can look at all these items and companies and decide, oh, I actually really like that item. I want to purchase it. Or, oh, when this item of mine ends up being completely worn out, my next purchase, I can go with this company. And it's not to encourage you guys to spend a bunch of money on all all of these items. No, no, no. It's more like I'm trying them out for you so you can make a conscious decision. Sustainable fashion can definitely be quite expensive. Obviously the most inexpensive way is secondhand shopping, but if you're looking at something specific, getting a like new sustainable item is gonna be expensive. And I think there's a, you know, argument on both sides on how inaccessible it can be. And I definitely think that argument is valid, which is why I haven't really gotten into new sustainable fashion until recently. A lot of these items I have purchased over the past like one or two months. So I did not like just buy everything all at once. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the disclaimers. I just feel like when it comes to talking about sustainable new fashion, there are a lot of arguments and we are all just doing our best and whatever you are doing, big or small, it's important. You are doing awesome. Let's get into the actual items if you are still here. I figured we would first start out with the secondhand item because I've already showed it on Instagram, which you are not following me. It's at AlexSunshine83 because I was just so excited that I found these and they fit, which buying secondhand shoes for me has always been really difficult because my feet are just weird. I can be a nine, nine and a half, 10. Sometimes I can be an 11. It's all over the place, especially if I am purchasing secondhand shoes on Poshmark, Depop or ThreadUp. I had seen these on ThreadUp and I really did not think that they were going to fit because they are in a size nine, which like I said, I can be anywhere from nine to 11 sometimes. So what I actually did before I purchased them is I looked at the brand went onto their website and went through the reviews of a similar style boot. They don't sell this boot anymore, but I just kind of wanted to see, do they run small? Do they run big? And it seemed like they ran big, which was awesome because these are some brown cowboy boots, which I have been wanting to find cowboy boots for so long. So I just happened to find them on ThreadUp. They were $34.99. They're originally from Dream Pairs. And it seems like the pricing on on Dream Payers website is around $30 to $40. So did I really get a good deal? Probably not, but they are secondhand. Now I did have a credit with ThreadUp because when I did a sponsored video with them, they had given me a credit and I had some left. They're so fun and cool. And I kind of feel like a poser because I don't really like country music. No hate to country music. It's just not my vibe and that's totally okay. But then I'm wearing these and I'm like, I feel like a poser. The next one is jewelry, which I don't like buy a lot of jewelry just because in most cases, especially if it's from a sustainable brand, it's quite expensive. And also when I find like one necklace I really like, I'll just wear it all the time. And in most cases I have thrifted different necklaces actually from Poshmark that were originally from like ASOS, Forever 21, Urban Outfitters. And yes, that's great. I was able to get it secondhand. The jewelry isn't made well. It changes color over time. And especially with how much I will just wear the same necklace like every single day, I wanted to finally invest in a really good necklace. And I've been really wanting just like a gold chain. I like very dainty. Sometimes I like the chunky like chokers, but I like very minimal jewelry. And so I have been really wanting to purchase something from Ana Luisa. I saw this just delicate gold choker on their website. And I was like, yeah, that's 
literally what I've been wanting. This one is just the silver box chain necklace. It's made out of recycled sterling silver and it was $49. I just absolutely love this piece. I just feel like it's such a delicate accessory that will literally go with everything and it feels like a good material. I don't know about you, but most cheap jewelry just feels very light, almost plasticky. Yeah, I definitely think it was worth it and I've been honestly wearing it like every day now. All right, so this one I have had my eye on honestly for like two months. Actually, Jenny from where I live wore these in one of her outfit videos and I just absolutely fell in love. And basically, we're out of stock for quite a while. They're from a sustainable brand in the UK and I actually purchased them from Lisa Says Ga, which is a website where they carry a bunch of different sustainable ethical fashion brands. Let me just show you. I feel like I'm like talking about them, but I'm just not showing you them. These cow print high-waisted pants are just so freaking cool. I am in love with these. They, they're, they're amazing. They are originally from House of Sunny. I'm usually a size six, but when Jenny mentioned the pants, she did say that she got them too big. So I was thinking, oh, probably the traditional like US size that you go for, maybe these jeans run big. So going for a smaller size may work better. I really didn't want to have to do the like back and forth of like returning, exchanging, and especially then if they were out of stock again. So I decided to just go with a size four. I did measure myself and everything to make sure that they they would fit and they actually do fit a little bit loose around the waist but I don't think a size two would fit me and they do fit they fit perfect they are kind of like a cropped flare in a way and they are nice and high-waisted they are really thin denim so they aren't that like thick denim they don't feel uncomfortable I feel like I could wear them just around the house and not be thinking like oh I can't wait till I get these pants off you know I can wear it without a belt if I do want that like a little bit more of a tighter waist then I will just put a belt on it and yeah I just feel like they go with so much you put them with something plain or even like green green with these pants is just so fun I realize I never said the price of them they are a hundred dollars definitely an expensive purchase but they're just so like loud and fun that they just add such a like spice to an outfit. So we now have a pretty big amount from a very awesome company, which is Girlfriend Collective. Now I've known about Girlfriend Collective for the past two years, but it wasn't until I would say fall of 2019 that I ended up really falling in love with them, which if you guys don't know who Girlfriend Collective is, basically they're a sustainable and ethical workout wear company and their big like known thing are their leggings, which are made out of recycled water bottles. And also they are such an inclusive brand of different sizes, different body types, different races, different age groups. Carrie has already done a video on them and I already talked about them in my quarantine favorites video of their sports bra. And I said in that video that I only own one sports bra and they actually emailed me and sent me a credit, which is crazy. So all these items were technically gifted to me. I wasn't paid to talk about it at all. They just gave me a credit and they were like, okay, have fun, which I finally got. Oh, I finally got another sports bra. I got the black Paloma bra. I got it in a small. It is $38. I really want to try their other sports bras. Like they came out with a one shoulder one, but unfortunately they were all sold out. I was just surprised that they at least had this in stock. And I feel like black is a really great like workout color. It goes with a lot of different things. And with the other items I got, I feel like it goes with just all of them. So I love this sports bra. I've already had it. I literally just got the same one. <laughs> then we go into some bottoms, which my other workout leggings are all black and I just wanted to have some fun. So I ended up getting these like lavender colored leggings. Now I got all of these in different lengths just because I wanted to try out different lengths in general, but these are the lilac compressive high rise leggings. I really, really love this color. It's just so beautiful. And this one was $58. And the other cool part is all of their dyes are eco-friendly and they make sure wastewater use is carefully cleaned and cooled before it is released. I did also get them in a small, which smalls in the bras and the bottoms are my perfect size. I like my leggings and workout wear to be quite tight and they aren't too tight. It's not like I'm suffocating or or anything it just stays in place these leggings I believe are the 23 inch length they do kind of come up almost like a little bit above the ankle but I am just so obsessed with this color marigold heck yes I really went back and forth between this like lemon yellow and this marigold I decided to go with this just because the lemon yellow was just a little bit intense and I feel like marigold is a really nice like 
toned down yellow, which I feel like goes perfect with these other ones, which are some bike shorts. These ones are $48. I did also get them in a small. I got them in acid. I, again, just really wanted to have some fun. I don't own any actual workout bike shorts, which with how hot it is right now in Southern California, I very much need, but I thought the color was super in your face. It's definitely more of a workout like bike short. It's not a bike short that you would necessarily wear like under a dress or a skirt or with a t- I mean, you totally could wear it with a t-shirt depending on what your vibe is, but it's definitely like a workout bike short. Last leggings I got were $78. They are in Poppy Eamon. They are the drawstring leggings. These are also in a small and these are actually the longest length, which I was really curious to try because I'd never tried before and they are perfect. <laughs> I really like the drawstring in there. Although all of the leggings stay on my waist, I just want something to just like tie a bit and also just to try it because why not? Really, really like it. Love the material. It's just such a soft like fun material. And then I ended up getting three pairs of socks, which is probably very boring. But as somebody that never has matching socks, you probably are like, thank goodness, Alexa, finally trying to find socks from a sustainable and ethical company. That's not like incredibly expensive has been really difficult. And so I realized that they started selling socks and I was like, I gotta, I gotta get it. They're originally $14 each. Got one of them in a like terra quarter color and then two in white because I mostly just wear white socks. I know it's not very interesting, but when I was looking on the website, I was like, okay, I could buy another pair of leggings or like a sports bra, but I really need socks. This next one, Carrie also did a video about, and I had heard about this company probably for the past year. And I thought the company was really cool, but I had never like seen a full review on them. And then Carrie made a video and I was like, okay, I really want to try them out. They have a cool vibe. And it is the company Lucy and Yak, which they are a gender neutral, sustainable brand that's mostly known for their dungarees slash overalls of just funky colors and pieces. But I ended up getting two different bottoms. It came to about 112 pounds which is roughly like 146 US dollars. So definitely not a cheap brand, but I first ended up getting these stripe bottoms, which are their Addison high-waisted organic cotton twill jeans in blue stripe. Now I did get them in a size 28, which usually I am a size 26. I really didn't want to exchange or return and have to like go through all that. So I measured myself, I read reviews, and the overall like summary of the reviews was that they ran small. When I looked at my measurements, and all that, it seemed like I was more of a size 28. So I decided to get a size 28 and first things first, they are very high waisted. I love the style, the pattern. I am just absolutely obsessed with these bottoms, but they are too big. I could keep them and just wear them with a belt, but I really wanna wear them without a belt because they are just such a fun pant and I just think they would have a nicer fit on my body. So I am going to be exchanging them for a size 26 and hopefully that is the perfect size with regards of like looking at the measurements on the website of what they were telling me to get. I got and it didn't work out, but of course it depends on your body type. The way that your body is proportioned could make them fit differently, but I did just wanna share them. So if you are thinking at purchasing them, you can kind of figure out potentially what the sizing would be like for you. Like I said, I did purchase two things from them and I got the Cole Wide Leg Organic Jean in mid wash denim in a 26. And with this one, all the reviews said to size down because they are more oversized. So most people were like, oh, I have to size up in the Addison Jean, but in the Cole Jean, I have to size down. So I'm really happy I went with my normal size 26. They are a little bit loose, so I could have sized down, but they aren't loose enough where it's like falling off. But they are just a really fun wide leg high waisted jean. They're very comfy. And although I don't need more jeans, they are just a really cool, like relaxed fit jean. The one thing I did see on the reviews is most people said that they were just way too long, but for me and the length of my legs, they are perfect. They actually for once aren't cropped, which most jeans are cropped on me. Pricing wise, I feel like if you're looking at these versus like Urban Outfitter jeans, I 100% recommend these. They are made better. They aren't problematic. And to an extent, they're almost like the same price. <laughs> Ooh, okay, are you still with me? Because I don't think I'm still with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me just talking about different brands, giving my opinion on fits and all that jazz. Again, like I said, the most sustainable way to shop is to not shop at all. Second one is buying secondhand, and the third one is buying from sustainable brands when possible. And I wanna share all the different avenues to give you guys options, and you can choose based on that what works for you. And if you guys like sustainable fashion, secondhand clothes, then make sure to subscribe right down below 
and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, alexandrine83, to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. I hope you have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!